And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Baseball fans and welcome the World Series on MLB the show coming up it's the Los Angeles Dodgers going up against the New York Yankees John shall be with you alongside Chris Singleton there may be no better atmosphere in all of baseball than game one of the fall classic Siggy lots of excitement to get this thing started yeah and the players feel that just as much as the fans you're down there with goosebumps and these players are just trying to stay in the moment but I'll tell you for the home team especially it's so hard not to be emotional and hyped up with all the energy in this building right now and on the other side of course you're looking to swing home field advantage your way with an all-important opening win on the road first pitch coming your way next up on the first pitch and on the hill Garrett Cole Chris what should we keep an eye on here with him well the big thing is that the way he holds his curveball it's more of a knuckle curve and because of that it's less predictable in terms of the break for the hitter that makes it that much harder to hit this guy and now here's the Dodgers designated hitter Chris Taylor the pitch late that time it's strike two two and two Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one down. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And now it's Mookie Betts. And the right hater deals. On the ground. Collected by Torres. In plenty of time to first. Two quick outs at the top of the first here tonight. Time to check out the Dodgers lineup. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team. And I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Two balls, one strike. Two outs, base is empty. Next yeah. offering in there for a strike. It's two and two. Two and two. Freeman tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. And he held up. And he deals. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Righty delivers. Got it fine for the play. Dodgers down in order. And now the Bombers will get their shot. No score. This is the World Series on the show. Back in New York. And towing the slab in this one, Jack Flaherty. Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. And a pinch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Here comes a pinch. Stays alive. And 
Next nope. offering misses. Oh. Two and two. It's a good take. And now it's filled up. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Here's Juan Soto. That one fouled off two and two. Torres on at first. Nobody out. Swing and a miss, struck him out. The high heat, too much on that one. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. Kicks and deals. Close, no. but oh. called a ball. And it's two and one. Man at first, one away. Next offering is in for a strike. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. Kicks and fires. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball on the outer black. Man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. The right field. Giancarlo Denton. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. Two outs. Two. And that one clips the corner. One ball, two strikes. miss struck him out third out the Yanks leave one we played an inning no score here at new Yankee Stadium in the Bronx and now it's going to be Teoscar Hernandez That one the other way, and that's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Max Muncy at the dish. Left hand batter waits. Runner on the go. Throw. Save. You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far. So why not try to put some pressure on him and see if he can steal the bag, get in the scoring position. The Dodgers looking to strike first here in game one of the World Series. That's ball, inside, that's and that's ball three. Woody Keller making the calls behind home for us today. And, Boog, something to keep an eye on is how pitchers utilize the top part of the strike zone. You see a lot more of that in today's game with pitchers going up there with hard stuff. Keller, definitely an umpire that isn't afraid to call strikes up in that part of the strike zone. And there's a foul ball. And the pitch. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him. And, you know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. Here's Kike Hernandez. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off.
Man at second. Goes down swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. And the Dodgers have the lead. It's 2 0. Boog, his plan was to hit the ball hard, and he was going to figure out the rest later. You can't argue with those results. is empty with two away and at the plate for the Dodgers Gavin Lux in there at the knees for a strike one and two now good job to fight that one off Two runs across in the inning here in game one. Bounce to the left side. And that's just foul. Right-hander kicks, deals. And there's a ball. Two down, nobody on. Puts it in the air out towards left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. Two-run shot for the Dodgers this inning. It's now a 2-0 ball game. You're watching the World Series on the show. Bottom of the second, down the third baseman, Jazz Chisholm Jr. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. That's to third. Muncy whips it to first. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Well, a well-thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Game one of the World Series here tonight, and all he's hoping is that the success that he's had in the first couple of rounds continues. The great thing, you're here in the World Series. Now just try to have fun. The performance has been outstanding, and why should it stop now? How do they cool him off? Well, they're going to be extremely careful with him. I doubt he's going to get much to hit today, but when he does, be careful because he can hit it a long way. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. One gone runner at first. And now the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. And the pitch. Here goes the runner. Down to ball here, rolls foul. Got him swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Austin Wells now at the plate. The pitch. Late on that fastball. One and two to count. And the righty deals. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. One left for the Yankees. They trail things here. Two nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. New inning getting started. Tommy Edmond at the plate. Edmund. 
The pitch. One wonderful yeah. thing about the postseason, you never know who's going to be the hero. It could be the superstar, but often it's a far more unlikely player. Down in the dirt, swing and a miss. Gets him. One away on a drop third strike. Thought I was perfect execution of that curveball. Down and in. He gets it out of the danger zone, and you really can't do it much better than that. It's in the zone the entire way, so you have to swing as a hitter, but then just falls off the table and almost hits you in the back foot. Now it's the Dodger leadoff hitter, Chris Taylor. Right. Next offering is in for a strike. You know, one unlikely postseason hero I saw up close, Alex Gonzalez of the Marlins in the 2003 World Series. Wasn't really known for his bat, but he hit a walk-off homer in extra innings in game four. It tied the series and was a huge momentum swing. Right. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Well, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for, a bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Two outs. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The line to kick the pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. Turns and fires the bets. And he chases that one. Picks up strikeout number seven. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. They're up to nothing. We go to the last of the third. Stepping in, Alex Verdugo. The wind and the pitch. No, that's inside. Swings and misses and one down below the zone. Well, when those hitters count, sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Not even close there, and it's three and two. In the air, left field. Fernandez makes the grab. One away. Now back, second baseman. Glaber. Back to the top of the Yankee order. Here is Glaber Torres. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Wouldn't chase that time. Two and two. The pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Riding to the plate. Goes down looking. Well, I can't argue with that one and clearly he was looking for something else. Anything but the breaking ball. It's a great pitch to hit right there if you're looking for it and kind of a gift at a two strike count. But sometimes you just get fooled and you got to tip your cap. And there's the ball. Aaron Judge hoping for a chance he would represent the tying run. Yeah, boo, plenty of power in that bat. They'd love to give him a shot here. Next offering is foul back. The Yankees trailing by two here in the last half of the third. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Nabs it, and that is that. And we're back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton, and set to lead off the fourth, Freddie Freeman.
On the ground to short. Volpe. Tosses to first. And Freeman is retired. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Here's a 1 1. A big swing and a miss. Chris, we were excited to watch him pitch. This is a little more along the lines of what we we're expecting performance wise. Yeah, but great pitchers like this, you may get one opportunity in one inning to get to them, to get some runs up on the board. And if you don't take it then, you may see zeros the rest of the ballgame. Gathers and throws to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the four. Two outs, space is empty. Muncy digs in. The wind of the pitch. Ripped, but it curls foul. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. Dodgers go down quietly, but they hold the 2 nothing lead. Series. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. This guy makes great contact. One of the best in the game at putting bat on ball. He's got such quick hands, and he's gaining pitch recognition. That keeps him square to the plate. There's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time, and that produces solid contact consistently. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Here's Stanton now. The Yanks down by a pair. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already, so he's got a good pace going, no doubt. Jazz Chisholm Jr. stepping in now for the Yankees. The next oh. offering misses. Ball two. He goes down looking. So the Yanks go in order. They're still down. It's two zip. All set for the start of the inning. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Kike Hernandez. pitch swing and a miss that one in the dirt Wells down to first got him one away on the strikeout well obviously that was nowhere near the strike zone by the time it got to the plate and people at home watching are thinking what's he swinging at but I'll tell you some of the break guys snap off these days is just devastating it can be so tough to recognize where a pitch like that's going to end up that misses that's two and one Right through there for a strike. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. Just oh, off oh. the outside edge. Full count. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. Safely into second, he's got a double. 
Two hits for him in this one, both for extra bases. Got to feel good about that. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance and weight transfer, and he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. One out, runner at second. Gavin Lux steps to the plate for the Dodgers. The 1-1. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Rizzo makes the play, and there's two away. Got the pitch that he wanted, just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open, backside collapsed a little bit, and the launch angle not where he needed it to be. Tommy Edmond will hit next. Man on second, two down. The shortstop takes the ball. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Man at second. Bounce to third. Can't field it cleanly, and that'll put runners at the corners with two away. And next for LA, Chris Taylor. Two on, two outs. Two Not one. close with that one. Now two balls and a strike. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Two outs. And that one popped to short. Volpe settles under it. And that is that. Dodgers strand a couple, but they're on top 2 nothing. in the Bronx, go. ready to go for the last half of the inning. The Anthony Rizzo pitch. steps to the plate. Rizzo. That one fouled off. And a pitch. In the air, out towards right center. Hernandez sizing it up. He's got it. And there's one down. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. One down, base is empty. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Hernandez hauls it in, and there's two away. Now the catcher. So up next, Austin Wells. So far, the playoffs have not been kind to him, but tonight, a chance to start anew. So much of this game is mental. He's just got to tell himself, I'm here. I've worked hard all year. Go out, have fun, trust your ability. You know, Singy, there are some people that say they feel more pressure actually in the league championship okay. series than the World Series because they know this is it. I could totally see that because, you know, you... And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. Yanks held in check. They trail it here, 2-0. Back in the Bronx, all set for the top of the sixth. Mookie Betts will get us started. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Ground ball right side. To first, and Betts is set down. Now battle. The first baseman, Freddie Lee. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. He's got a rare skill set out there on the mound. Even when he's low on energy, his stuff still has bite to it. You just don't see it flattening out just because he's tired. He's still delivering good action. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two up, two down. Now back. Left 
Two yeah. outs, base is empty. Hernandez. Teoscar Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Two down, nobody on. And foul ball. And a one-two. And that skips in the dirt. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And the Dodgers are set down in order. So they go quietly there. 9 1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Dodgers 2 and the Yankees nothing. Back now in the Bronx. Bottom of the sixth. And stepping in for the Yankees, Alex Verdugo. Well, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. Comes up empty. That's strike two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And a ball and two strikes. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Next no, offering is downstairs. Two balls, two strikes. Caught him looking for the K. Well, you could tell he wasn't expecting that ball to break back no, in on him. He may have been looking for something away, maybe something soft, but that slider on the inside corner absolutely frozen. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. Next That's offering ball. is outside. Just missed. That one to first. Freeman That's takes it to the bag, and that quickly two away. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air, lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Stepping in the long ball threat, Juan Soto. Here's a 1 1. Well, just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches for this game. Just one pitch short of 100 now, and I'm guessing this is likely his final inning if he can get through it. Now, fly ball to right center. Hernandez on the move, squeezes it. And that will end the inning. Luis Heal gets the call from the pen. Number 81, Luis Heal. And now it's Max Muncy. The third baseman, number 14. Right handed reliever. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. And that one is out of here. He flexes his power with that swing, and they add on. It's 3 0. Already playing with the lead, and now they're celebrating a home run. They're having a great time out there. versus power right there like two locomotives colliding who's gonna win but a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working powers that fastball out of here here's Kike Hernandez that yeah. one finds the zone and a count one and two always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning 
the wind of the pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. And here's the catcher, Will Smith. And he's already left his mark on this game. He certainly has, Boog. A two-run shot in the second inning, and that made an early impact on this game in a big way. And it's through for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. The batter has a Second base. And up next for Los Angeles, Gavin Lux. That one missed. One run across in the frame so far here in the late stages of game one. And that clips the inside corner. Cool night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creep it into my mind right now. Strike three. Got him looking on the changeup. Tommy Edmond steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And he deals. Two and one. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And no one can get there. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two out double. Second and third now. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. That pretty much split the zone down the middle. And those are the ones where you got to make them pay. So now the DH spot, Chris Taylor. Two on, two outs. Too low, and it's ball three. And yeah, the right-hander deals. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Verdugo ranging after it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now 3-0. Back here in New York, here's the center fielder, Aaron Judge. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. Fly ball to right. That settles underneath it. Makes the grab one down. Notice how they're swinging too early or too late. That's a timing problem. They need to guess right on a few of those pitches, and I mean make an educated guess. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. The Yankees looking to rally. The 1-2. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Swing and a miss. One, two. The Yankees trailing by three here at the bottom of the seventh. That two one almost two. got him. Oh. 
Hard ground ball, base down. And that extends the inning. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, dude. So I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Anthony Rizzo stepping in now for the Yankees. Two outs. And a foul ball. Two two now. Run around the move. Still two and two after the foul ball. Chisholm off of first with two away. That misses ball. the zone and the count's full. Ball Great count. RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Flaherty a move to first. Chisholm back on a dive. to the right side he takes it himself to the bag and that'll do it still in total command on the mound with seven shutout innings it's the Dodgers three and the Yankees nothing welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eight Clark Schmidt Here's Mookie Betts. The right fielder, Mookie Betts. Righty delivers. And no throw for some reason as he reaches first. That's got to be an error. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. That's one of those you classify as just too hot to handle. Hit it on the screws and it couldn't be fielded cleanly, but you can't really blame the defense in that case. On the ground, two ball. Flips to second, that's one. On to Rizzo at first, and he get the double play. Very smooth on the feed to second right there. You've got to love that glove toss, boo. You know, sometimes people think these guys are being a little flashy, but it actually can make more sense to do that than try to make a full transfer. And you got to remember, these guys work on that play all the time, so it's in their back pocket whenever they need it. And it's through for a hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good, balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. Verdugo going back. Up against the wall and brings it in. One left for L.A., but they lead it 3-0. New pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Brewstar Grotterol. So digging in, Anthony Volpe. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. 1-1 one, one now. Right through there for a strike. It's been tough for the offense so far, but you can't get frustrated. You got to find a way to shake it off, go up there and relax. That's the only way you're going to be able to put runs up on the board. And here it comes. Volpe here checks his swing. Now it appeal to first. And Ed Drummond right on it says he held up. At the belt and fires. Strike three. Throws him with the front door slider. Boog, he was shopping at the buckle right there, the way that slider made him look. That was just nasty. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Austin Wells. 
And he walked him. Take base. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter Number didn't three. offer at Number it. Three. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Run around at first with one gone. Here's Alex Verdugo. Kicks and deals. That's a ball. That's a That's in there. Three and two down. Down and full. Fights it off. You'll see another. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Deep out to center field. Hernandez pulls that one down. Two down. The second baseman. Labor. Torres. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the Yankees leadoff hitter, Glaber Torres. The Dodgers leading by three. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. And another ball. There's a run scoring opportunity. You definitely got to push something across because it's not going to get any easier. You get to the ninth, you get a lockdown closer ready to come in. And a pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. And now it's three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Juan Soto waiting to hit for the Yankees. Three and two now. Gets a piece and stays alive. Side and that is ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, this could be the start of something. They haven't found a way to score yet, but now's their chance to change that. Shohei Otani on the pitch out of the pen here. Number 17. Shohei Otani. First and second, two down. Juan Soto stepping in now for the Yankees. And that one missing low. The tying run at the plate. And that one fouled off. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Wells over at second. Torres at first, two out of the inning. Struck him out looking. Yanks strand a pair. They trail in this one, three nothing. Back at Yankee Stadium, we go to the ninth, and now the center fielder, Enrique Hernandez. The 1-1. One, one. And there's oh. a ball. Kicks and fires. That one ripped right center field. This looks like extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he's got a leadoff double. 
It's been a pretty rough game at the plate for him so far. A bunch of strikeouts, so that felt good, I'm sure. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bolt the opposite way. Split the gap and know that you've got extra bases right off the bat. That's the kind of thing hitters dream about when they're falling asleep at night. So, man aboard, Will Smith steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Now this is in the air down the line. Verdugo gets under it. And there's one away. The batter number nine. Second base. Gavin Lux. And here is Gavin Lux. One out and a runner at second here at the top of the ninth. Check swing, no appeal. And yeah, that's ball two. Man at second. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. Right hander kicks deals. Base hit into third now so runners at the corners and one out well he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes I think he choked up a little bit maybe spread out but he got the job done right there runners on the corners with one gone and the batter will be the shortstop Tommy Edmond the 2-1 this one lifted in the air, left field. Verdugo makes the play. Runner tags for third. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. And it's 4 nothing. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Now it's the Dodger leadoff hitter, Chris Taylor. Two outs and a foul ball. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. In time. So the drop third strike doesn't hurt him. And that's that. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Part of the order, 3-4-5 will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Dodgers four and the Yankees nothing. Back at Yankee Stadium, so bottom of the ninth, Aaron Judge at the plate. This one in the air right field. Betts settles under it and makes the catch. And a quick out number one. The right fielder, John Carlo. Now here's John Carlo Stanton. One out, base is empty. Popped up, foul territory behind the play. Smith drifts towards it. He's got it. There's two away. The batter, the third baseman. So it's their last chance in this one. And the batter now, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Two down, nobody on. Swings and misses. Now one and two. One and two, the count. This could end it. Inside, almost got him. Straighten him up a little two bit. The Dodgers leading by four. Here, the last half of inning number nine. Ground ball, and this should do it. On the run, throw to first. That's the ball game. 